resting on the exit sign. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I lived in an apartment complex that had a covered yet open parking deck. Every morning I would see two birds fly away the moment I entered the deck to head to work. I would open the door, which disturbed their morning perch, and see them fly to a nearby tree. This happened every day for months. I began to wonder if these birds were angels. I assumed that they were probably my mother and father reincarnated. I had heard stories of people's relatives returning back to earth as animals, so I figured that this was my situation. These birds were in my vision for a reason. They were not there by coincidence. They met me at the door every morning and flew away simply for me to watch them. My instructions from the Holy Spirit were to observe their behavior because something prophetic was about to happen. Something profound was about to unfold. I had to keep watching. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Matthew six twenty six. I'd gotten to a point where I expected to see the birds. Each day, leaving to and from work, I would look for them. I was never disappointed. They were always sitting there, sitting in place until I showed up, causing them to fly away. On one particular day, I saw a bird fly away from the exit sign, which was above their spot. I was amazed to see that it had built a nest. I wondered how it found the space to wedge its branches into such a tight crevice. There didn't seem to be any room. Every day, the nest grew bigger, and the bird would always be there, peeking its tiny head up, ready to fly away the moment I had gotten too close. This little bird was resting on the exit sign. It had built its home in an unlikely place, one that could only be discovered if high enough. My eyes could not fully see how its home was built. My mind could not fully grasp how its comfort was made possible. God knew, however, he was in total control. The Holy Spirit placed this symbol in front of me to encourage my heart to take courage in God's provision. He knows exactly what I need before I ask. These birds came into my life to teach me to rest on the exit, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the way, truth, and life. I understand now that while it may be terrifying to navigate in uncertainty, I must trust the Lord as he builds each step as I travel. I did not know what that little bird encountered from morning until night, but it seemed unscathed. It would always be full of life, not missing a beat with its swift flights. It was never wounded or slow moving. It was vibrant and speedy, alive and kicking. Well, flapping. This bird never ceased to amaze me. I distracted this bird's morning routine of perching, and it always flew to the tree across from the parking deck. Life is chock full of events, people and things that keep us distracted from what we normally do or find comfortable. But God will always be our shelter. If we trust him, he will never allow anyone or anything to scare us without having a place of security within reach. As long as we stay connected to him, we will be safe. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit Apart from me, you can do nothing. John fifteen five. Life is stressful enough. We need to stay tied up to the living word, which is Jesus Christ, to remain secure. I have been in situations where he has been my only available friend. Although I cannot see him in person, I can feel his presence within me because that is where he resides. God is within all of us. If only we would acknowledge the Holy Spirit more. Not only would our confidence skyrocket, but our blessed assurance would increase also. We would not walk in fear, but have solid faith that God is truly our divine shepherd. God takes care of his own. He blesses the righteous and those who confide in him. The bird that built the nest had everything it needed to make a comfortable home. Every day, it would add to its nest twigs from various locations. God supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory. We must stay focused on him at all times so that we do not live in fear or worry as the world does. The world is too concerned with their voice to trust what God can do. Although we cannot see him, he is there. He wants to give us everything we need, but our minds must be firmly set on him so that we may believe. 
Once we believe, we can receive what he has in store for us. Resting in an unlikely place. The space behind the exit sign was so narrow, yet the bird was led to build a nest there. I could not fathom how this bird could find rest in such a thin space, but there was a reason why it was considered home. This daily visual taught me that God will sometimes place us in seemingly uncomfortable situations, but he will always provide rest. We won't always understand his intentions, but if we abide in him, we will gain understanding. We can learn to rest in the Lord by reading his word every day and meditating on what it says. Your lights may still be cut off. Your bank account may be negative. Your car may still be broken down and your self-confidence may still be in a hole somewhere. But if you take one step to allow Jesus to mold your mind, you will find peace. Your life could be in a whirlwind, but you will have a calm mindset because you will know that your help comes from the Lord. Despite the bird building a nest and living alone, it was never truly by itself. Occasionally, other birds would visit its nest or perch on the ledge right below the exit sign. I would hear them tweeting and sometimes made attempts to be a bird whisperer by whistling so that we could all communicate. It never responded to me, of course. The fact of the matter is, I loved how this bird was well protected, loved, and cherished by God. No matter what, it would always be around, either perching, resting, or flying away. I am certain that if God can shield this bird every day and provide it with shelter, he can and will do the same for me. If he can make room and provide the tools for this bird to find rest, he can and will do the same for me. God loves that little bird so much, so I know for sure that he loves me. Reading Suggestion, the Book of Psalms for Prayer Starters.